Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are here for a super random showcase of the World Tournament Banner exclusive STR Super Saiyan Goku. Now, did anybody ask for this showcase? Probably not. And am I ever going to be using this unit after I'm done filming this video? Highly unlikely, but you know what? I was bored, and I had some extra STR orbs lying around, and honestly, I really like his card art. I think that art is pretty sick, so I went ahead and gave him the rainbow star, and in this video, we're going to find out whether or not that was a waste. It probably was. So before he jumps to the showcase, let's take a look at his details, his stats, and all that stuff. So. His leader skill is STR types or super STR types, key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%. His super attack is super dragon flash, which actually is pretty damn cool. And it causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy, which can be actually really useful in some modes like super battle road, for example. And his passive is key plus 2, attack plus 100% at the start of the turn, and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. His links are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Prepare for Battle, All in the Family, The First Awakened, and Shattering the Limit. And he's in two categories at the moment, Goku's Family and Pure Saiyans. So that is the card for you guys right there. His max attack is not super high. He does have basically the free-to-play unit stat boost since he's technically, I guess, considered free-to-play. And that's the team, guys. So we're going to jump into the physical Broly event and see what this guy can do. My expectations are honestly not super high. And uh, he did end up on the second rotation, which is kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. We'll get him linked up with the Tech, Goku, and Gohan as soon as possible. Because they are, um, as far as I'm aware, of the best linking partners. I mean, he does have quite a few good linking partners. Uh, the only issue is that his best link overall, as far as attack goes, is the first Awakened. But then units that share the first Awakened with him don't generally link well with the other links. Or don't share a lot of the other links he has. So I decided to... Just pair him up eventually with the uh, Tech, Goku, and Gohan since they share like six links with each other. And also he gets the additional support from the Goku and Gohan as well, right? So uh, I guess we're just going to blast through this rotation because I'm pretty sure we can just take out these guys. So we'll see the Goku on the second rotation on the second fight of this event. And um, it might be for, it actually it might be for the best. It might be for the best because we're going to have type disadvantage here anyways. So we're going to wait for the next turn. Um, wait, is he... I think Broly might be AGL next turn as well. Doesn't matter. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So we're making short work of the Paragus and Broly here, guys. And that is gonna do it. Okay. So second fight, second stage, second phase. And we got the Goku, finally. Um, I think... Does he link with the... Let's see. Oh, he actually links better with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, so we'll leave, we'll leave that then. And this is going to be good. So we're going to be able to super here. He does give himself some keys, so he is pretty self-sufficient in that, in that sense. And uh, I guess I'll just give the friend Goku some orbs as well. Yo, it's crazy how much... Like, no matter what I gave him, I, I guess I could have given him the tech orbs. But in general, like, these Super Saiyan 4s just get so much key. It's actually awesome. It's, it's pretty freaking awesome. Okay, and then he can super as well. So we're getting the 30% support from the Xeno Goku, and we are almost at a million. Almost at a million, and we got the stun off. Nice. Oh man, I want to see the tanking though. Okay, so we don't get to see the tanking, but we did get to see his stunning in action. He does have a high chance to stun, which I can actually see being very useful in uh, modes where you need the stuns, right? Like Battlefield, for example, um, is a really good mode to take him on. So he's not completely useless. The joke I made in the beginning, uh, while like partially true, is not is not 100% true, guys. Um, he can definitely be useful in in certain certain modes man certain game modes where like you really need that stun especially like a super battle road where uh stunning is actually really really clutch um and also battlefield where if you're fighting like a healing unit for example or a unit that uh can absorb key based attacks then stunning them will actually allow the allow you to bypass the healing or stop them from healing and also bypass the um, absorption ability too. So yeah, high chance to stun is actually very, very, very good. Um, but that's pretty much the best feature for him, as far as I can tell. Uh, he doesn't do that much damage. His tanking is still yet to be seen, but I'm not expecting too much from his tanking ability either. Um, but we didn't really get to see that. So maybe we'll get to see that here on the second turn for this fight here. 
Um, this Broly does do quite a bit of damage, so it, it's going to be interesting to see what we can do here. Okay, so we got them linked up with, or got him linked up with the Goku and Gohan. Obviously no exchange going on here because I want to keep that support. And let's go here, let's go here. I don't know if this Broly can't be, oh he can't be stunned. Okay, so no stun here, no chance to stun that is. And let's try to not give him so much key, so we'll just go with that. He's still going to get the 18 key super off just because he's crazy. Alright, 888k, 300,000. And wow, we actually did okay damage. Almost a million. Okay, when we took that hit for 19, okay. I mean, the other guys are taking double digit as well, but I have higher standards for them. Okay. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I, I'm actually impressed with the tanking ability right there, man. Double digits from the Broly. Of course, we do have type advantage, and I still don't expect him to do like stupid amounts of day or uh, take like really hard hits on Super Battle Road. Only reason I would take him on Super Battle Road is for the stunning, all right? So don't expect him to be that good of a tank in that mode um but i mean having the stun available to you is definitely it, it makes him more viable it definitely makes him more viable <laughs> like i said guys like I, I i didn't rainbow this guy with the intention of like using him that much or anything like that um i was honestly just kind of bored man i was kind of bored like, there's not much to do on global right now but you know what things should heat up a little bit um when we get the next Tokon Fest, which I do believe is going to be, like for the next celebration, I think it's going to be the STR transforming for the Namek Goku, right? Uh, nobody knows for sure. Actually, we're probably going to find out in like an hour. So probably before this video is released, which I mean, I probably should have waited um, to release this video, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. I think it's going to be a Namek Goku, so that's my prediction. Uh, if you guys are watching this video after we find out what the next Tokon Fest on Global is going to be then um you can see whether or not i was right i think i'm gonna be right i think i'm gonna be right but i do hear people saying it's gonna be trunks and zamasu i just think it's too early for that um it could be killing califla but i think more likely it's gonna be namek goku then killing califla and we almost died here holy balls okay um <laughs> damn dude uh let's let's go with a should we heal up i guess we should heal up okay let's heal up because uh, that first attack before we super is not gonna, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage most likely. And then after we super, we do get that 100% additional defense. So uh, hopefully, oh crap, okay. So having the, <laughs> the, the Goku there does not make sense. The, uh, what do you call it? The Int Goku. So I think I'm gonna reset this rotation here. I'll be right back guys. You know what, I was going to change out the rotations, but I also don't want to split up the STR Goku and the Tech Goku, so we're just going to leave it as is. We're just going to leave it as is and pray that we don't die at the end there. Alright, here we go, here we go. So, okay, we're taking 2969, and we are over a million for the first time in this showcase. And we hit for almost a million too. Okay, and now we're taking double digits. 71.30, that's actually quite impressive, man. That is actually quite impressive. Better than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. Like, a lot better than I expected, actually. And, uh, maybe, actually, the, the Battlefield Goku will just... Not Battlefield, I keep saying Battlefield. Uh, yeah, he finished it off, the Super Battle Road Goku. Well, there we go, guys. Um, we got a stun off, and we did some pretty good tanking, and damage-wise, you know, we got over a million attack with two supports, so... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, wasn't expecting much in that department, but I can definitely see this Goku having his uses in, um, you know, certain game modes. Of course, there are so many Super Saiyan Gokus in this game that he's really not going to take uh, precedence or be used over a lot of the other Super Saiyan Gokus. But if you guys don't have the other ones and you only have this one available to you, or like, you know, if you pulled a lot of him on the Super or on the uh, World Tournament banner, for example, he's actually not terrible. He's really not terrible, and his super attack is pretty damn dope too. I really like that one punch man, or one punch man, uh, one inch punch um, animation. If you guys don't know what that's all about, go search up Bruce Lee one inch punch and you'll see, I think, um, where this super attack animation or this attack in general was inspired by or what it was inspired by. And uh, yeah, there you go, man. Huge Bruce Lee fan, just putting that out there if you guys weren't aware. And yeah, that is the showcase for the STR World Tournament Super Saiyan Goku. I'm not sure what you guys expected, but I gotta say, based on my initial expectations going into this video, I'm actually 
decently impressed, man. I'm, I don't regret my use of orbs. Obviously, if you guys don't have a lot of orbs like I do, then um, don't rainbow him. But nonetheless, he's not terrible. He's actually not that bad. So there you go, guys. That's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, ooh, best 4K TVs. Nice. And... Um, what was I gonna say again? I got totally distracted. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That's I think that's where I was going. Subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.